Hi and welcome back, this is me Noxy and this is Dust and Elysian Tale. Um, as always this is a blind playthrough of the entire game from start to finish and uh, you get to see how good or bad I am at this game. And I just got hit. So, so far we've um, done a few missions with the townspeople and so I'm now heading out of the, uh, the this sort of forest but to get out I need to sort of head up I believe in a minute so we're heading that way now Cheeky cheek, cheating cheek, cheeky swine. Ah, got booster. So if we go in there now and did this, she will make it for us. That's cool. That's what we got. A vest. Nothing really proves what we've got at the moment. A health. Uh, chick all chickens are, are worth more health, so I'll get that for now. None of that actually has any improvements. Still no improvements. No. No. Okay. So we don't have any blueprints that will create any kind of improvement for the character at the moment. They're trying to silence. Oh, whoops. They're trying to silence the widget, which would mean no one's going to any magic. I am you. Alright, they have stuff to sell. Sell mode. Activate. Okay. That's new. That's new. He buys at a higher price if it's something he hasn't had before. So might as well just like sell all of whatever it is we have at the initial higher price. And then more money. Oh, is most appreciated. Most appreciated. Back, my friend. I always watch my back. You watch your back. So I don't miss any items or any uh, no drops because no doubt it's pretty together a lot of this stuff is going to be relevant at some point when I build like blueprints and stuff so worth collecting as much as I can So it's just like a mass of people and just take them all down. That's what I'm best to do. I always think I'm getting hit at that point. It's like level up. So, oh, whoops. 
Oh, level up. Of course. So extra health there, so it means I won't die as quickly now. I'm not sure how to get up there yet, so I have to keep going for now. Tasty cupcake. And that's it for the bad guys. Oh, I could teleport, I forgot about that. Yes, I shall save game. Over a file. How do I teleport then? Well, that. Yes, okay, cool. I'm at the village. Here are those materials you asked for, Fail. Great! Here's your payment. If you're willing, I could use your help again. I'd like to upgrade our weapons. Beast spears, while primitive, have finely chiseled stone tips that we can use for arrowheads. If you could bring me eight beast spears, I'll buy them for a high price. Please, let... I'll keep my eyes open. Much appreciated. Oh. I'll be waiting right here. Okay, so here's that quest has been done. For him. <laughs> it's great to see you back, son. I knew you could do it. The monsters have already calmed their advance. Tell me, what happened? Did you confront their leader? He was right where you said he'd be. In fact, he seemed to be waiting for us. Waiting? In the middle of a small village, surrounded by the innocents he killed. Oh, no. That could only be Denham Village. Uh, did you find any survivors? I'm sorry, Mayor Bram, but there were none. This creature that attacked the village, he was some kind of lizard. Wore strange armor. Called himself... Fuse. A lizard, you say? Hmm. A moonblood, perhaps. I wonder if Ginger would know anything about that. Ginger? That girl up on the hill? Her family was killed almost a year ago in Zeplik village, a few days' journey to the north. General Gaius and his soldiers were looking for Moonblood sympathizers. General Gaius? Do you know who he is? Not... personally. His is not a name we utter here without proper cause. I've never seen him or his soldiers personally, but tragedy tends to follow in their wake. So why did they kill Ginger's family? They were helping the Moonbloods, of course. Helping the enemy is a treasonous offense. Ginger escaped, but her parents and her brother did not. Regardless, I can't thank you enough for putting a stop to that mad beast before he came any closer to Aurora. If you want to ask Ginger about Fuse, I'd suggest you hurry. It looked like she was preparing to leave town for a while. Good luck! Quest updated. Awesome. Shop. Welcome back. I need the health ones. You are... Welcome back. Uh... Your silence, that's cool to know. Thank you Hi. for coming in. I can almost guarantee your satisfaction. Almost. You can guarantee it, or you can't. Oh, Dust. We are indebted to you for what you've done for us. Gian and I are just going to rest for a bit here in Aurora. Actually, 
Maybe you could speak with him? He would never admit it to me, but I just know something is troubling him. Of course. Where is he now? He's been pacing near the west entrance of the village, near the field where you rescued us. Thank you, Dust, for everything. We have to go chat with him then. I don't get it. Why would anyone want to help those awful lizard things? That fuse guy burned down an entire village. Don't you understand, Fidget? He wasn't born that way. General Gaius and his soldiers turned him into that monster. And Fuse is likely not the only one corrupted by General Gaius's hatred of the Moonbloods. We should speak to Ginger again to learn more about this conflict. Oh, you again. Mayor Bram said you'd left already. Yes, he asked us to stop the leader of these monsters. Turns out it was a Moonblood named Fuse. He'd gone completely insane. Fuse? Oh no. He was leading those monsters? You killed him? So you know him then? Was he always a homicidal pyromaniac? What? No, never! Why did you kill him? He destroyed Denim Village, Ginger, and slaughtered dozens of innocent people. He refused to listen to reason and planned to attack Aurora next. I had to stop him. This war is turning all of us into monsters. Thank you, Ben, for releasing Fuse from his madness. Right before the end, he seemed lucid. He told me a few things before he passed. He tried to tell me about the war, about your family. He was there the day my family was killed, yes. He was picking up supplies to bring back to his people. General Gaius attacked our village, burned it to the ground. I thought Fuse had been killed. Now I wish he had. I'm sorry. And why is that? The last time I saw an outfit like yours was the day my family was murdered. That outfit, it belongs to Gaius' soldiers. Who are you, really? I don't know. That is not an answer. Hey, ease off. Dust can't remember, okay? He doesn't even know his real name. You know, you should be more thankful. He just saved this village twice, and I... Well, I watched him do it. And I'm also really hungry. Hmm. Fidget, please calm down. She's right to be suspicious. I don't know who I am, but I'm dressed as one of Gaius' soldiers. And that can't be good. Perhaps. But your friend is right. You saved my village twice today. Gaius and his soldiers would never do that. Especially if they knew I was here. Tell me about the war. Why is Gaius so obsessed with killing these Moonbloods? What do they do? Nothing. They exist. General Gaius sees them as an impurity, a kind of cosmic mistake that he believes must be wiped from this world. I've tried to help where I can, but it's hard. There aren't many Moonbloods left outside of their homeland, and it's only a matter of time before Gaius wipes them out entirely. Is there anything I can do to help? If only one man could stand against an army. Sadly, no. There's nothing any of us can do. Any hope for the Moonbloods died with my family. Mayor Bram mentioned you were leaving town. Yes. The rivers and streams around Aurora are beginning to dry up completely. Without water, the only thing to do is head north. It's only a matter of time before the others follow me. Why would the rivers all be drying up? It's not like it's been very hot. And wasn't there a big rainstorm a little while ago? I know, it doesn't make any sense. To be honest, I think this whole country is cursed. General Gaius's bloodlust has scorched this land forever. I doubt we'll ever recover. Where can I find General Gaius? If the only way to stop this war is to stop General Gaius, then I need to know where to find him. His campaign continues to the north. If you want to help right the wrongs of your kind, you're free to join me. I'm afraid. Whoa! What was that? It came from the center of the village! Monsters! Ginger, get down! <sighs> That's the last of them. Ginger, are you okay? I'm... 
I'll be fine. You should go down below and find out what's happening. All right. You shouldn't stay here, Ginger. It's too dangerous. Head north. We'll catch up with you after we've gotten to the bottom of this. Stay safe, Dust. We'll meet again at Rowan Pass, at the foot of the Blackmore Mountains. Wow. Mosca, I'm afraid I have some bad news. Oh? Is everything all right? We traveled to Denim. It's been burnt to the ground. What? Oh, no. No, no, no! But there was a note. It's addressed to you, from somebody named Sarahi. Sarahi? Oh, thank goodness. She must be alive. She must have escaped. Please, let me see it. What do you think, Mosca? She mentions a place that only the two of us know about. It's a hidden cove not far from here. Please, Dust, go there and see if she's safe. I'll be following, but I'm no fighter. If you insist on coming along, be sure to keep your distance. Yeah, when Dust starts swinging that sword, you don't want to be anywhere near him. Have you seen the screen? He just goes... <laughs> Not quite sure which direction to go in. Play over at first. I didn't know this was up here. Oh, hi. You're new. Are you travelers? Maybe you can help me? I can't find my little brother, Corbin. He's not in the village? No, he's not here. I can't find him, and I've looked absolutely everywhere. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye out for him. What's your name? My name is Colleen. Oh, I wonder if he left the village. He could get hurt. Calm down, Colleen. I'll look for him. Where did you see him last? I think he was doing something for Mr. Gianni, but whenever I ask him about Corbin, he says he's too busy. I really don't like that guy. Gianni, huh? Okay, wait here. If you find Corbin, please bring him home. I'm really getting worried about him. Awesome. I didn't even realize that was there. Okay, so it's not the right direction then. Uh go to the left then, I suppose. Treasure here. Our village has got itself a new basement. You don't seem too concerned. <laughs> Trust me, not much happens here. So when things start crawling out of the ground, you pull up a chair and enjoy the show. Okay, Augustine, but promise me that you'll stay here. I don't need anyone getting hurt. Bah! I'll let you have all the fun? Well, I guess you're the one with the sword, after all. I think this is a good point to end to end the the episode for today so thanks everyone for watching this has been me Noxy playing Dust and Elysian Tale until next time stay awesome